So we're going to do some drift fishing today in Florida, with Dania Beach. Lady Pamela to sports fishing. We're going to see if we catch anything, drift fishing, bottom fishing, snappers, groupers, anything we're going to take. So we're going to head out to the land boat behind here. Hope you guys enjoy this episode of Coast on Fishing. It's a different fish kind of fishing. I'm in Florida doing some quick fishing. It's a four hour trip. Weather is terrible. Hopefully, the sea is not that rough. Let's see how it goes. Nice place though. Inside, make your way inside around the corner on the inside. Get out of the rain, guys. Sure. Here we go. Here's your two tickets, guys. Thank you. You got the email for me? I'm gonna grab it from you. I'm gonna come inside and check it out because okay. it's raining. Get you guys no out of the rain. Thank you, sir. Go ahead. You guys can check it out. I'll check it out. Can I put this, put this rod right here? Yeah, you're fine, bud. You got a, it's a little bit light for what we're gonna be doing. Yeah. Today. But uh, I got the same kind of setup too, we use it for bait out here. We can try it here, yeah. thanks. Stuff like that where you don't have to play a place to cook, you don't have a stove, the opportunity to do it. There's a restaurant right on the other side of the bridge called Tarks. And they will cook it for you. They blacken it or fry it, and uh, it's just a good, good deal for lunch. You got know, like shrimp and scallops and all that good, good oysters and all that good stuff. So um, that's just an option. Like I said, I always try to get people. They come out here to go fishing, and then they're like, "Damn, we can't eat our fish." You know, so try to give them the opportunity to send them a place where they can do that. All right. Um, the rods and reels I have set up out here, the conventional style rods and reels. It's a little bit different than your spin rod that you might be used to, but they're very, very easy to use, guys. The one thing I want you to start putting your, in your head now is as long as you keep your thumb down on the spool of line, it won't tank, okay? Like I said, I've been doing this nine years for this company. I'm very, very good at knots, all right? <laughs> <laughs> but, however, it takes away from your guys' fishing time, okay? It might take you 10 minutes, it might take you two minutes, but it's gonna take away from your time. So as long as you guys, and like I take on a regular, on a regular, I take about 40 people out fishing, all right? We got seven today. Okay, so um, we're gonna have a little bit more space. So it's almost like a private charter for you guys, okay? There's no reason to stand right on top of each other and drop, okay? It's a 70 foot boat from corner to corner, all right? We're gonna fish all on this side of the boat, but we're gonna be drifting. And for whatever reason, he decides to anchor or we come across a school of fish and they're solid, we're gonna obviously stay in that spot. Then you can fish on both sides of the boat. But while we're drifting, we're gonna fish on this side. If somebody goes on this side and drops, the lines are gonna scope out. It's gonna go under the boat, tangle these people, or go on the prop, and I'll have to go swim and cut it out, and I won't be a happy mate. So, <laughs> so guys, please, just you know, fish on this side. Like I said, unless we anchor, you'll be on this side. We'll be good, be good to go. Um, I think that's about it, guys. We got about 45 minutes to an hour out to where we're gonna be fishing at. So uh, you guys can walk around, you guys can go upstairs. That's Captain Mitch upstairs. We won't see him too, too much because he's driving the boat. But, uh, you know, he's up there. You guys are always more than welcome to poke your head in there. we got all of our computer screens in there if you guys want to see what we're looking for when we're looking for the fish. So 45 minutes out to where we're going to be fishing at. So you guys enjoy your time. This is like a school zone right here in the intercoastal. So we have to go slow. Once we hit the, in, uh, the inlet, we're going to turn out into the ocean. The boat's going to go faster, and that's when the wind's going to pick up. All right, just so you know. So for the next 30 minutes, you guys are good. You guys can go upstairs. Like I said, you might get a little bit wet, but the fish are already wet. That's where we're looking. We're, we're good with that. So. All right, guys? Sure, man. Enjoy your time. Man. Footboard, never been on a boat so big to fish. We'll walk around. It is wet today, that's the only thing. Got lots of space to fish. Each of these holes where a rod usually stands, 40 people at a time could fish on this boat. Today is just seven. Small crew, good to fish, just the weather is unity. Everything in the ocean is <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> 
out, see if we can maybe get a dolphin. You know, there's only seven people, so if we get one nice one, everybody will get a nice laugh, you know? <laughs> so. Yeah. so, we obviously are probably not going to take all our catch. Okay. Um, They'll always go to, you know, I got three daughters that all eat fish. Okay. These people okay. eat fish. He's got family. We all got, you okay. know. I just but want if to make sure it's not just giving like. If you want to catch everyone inside. Yeah, if you, yeah. you want to specifically, if you want to throw them back, that's not a problem. Okay, no, I just wanted to make sure that if we caught them, they were going to get eaten. Oh, absolutely. Like, no, absolutely. <laughs> they absolutely. Will. Okay, perfect. Uh, how deep will we fish them? We're going to go anywhere between 60 to 300 feet. Okay. okay. You know, anywhere between a half a mile to three miles. We can't go any further out than three miles because that's international water. Right. You guys need a passport. Okay. So. Yeah, I got my passport. There you go. So we can bring she's, her. She's we can good to go. It only takes an hour and 45 minutes to hit the Bahamas from here. So <laughs> that's it. That's Last it. Last time I went fishing out here, I caught a mahi or dolphin. Did whatever. you? I cried. Did you come on this one? No. Or you went on one of the other I went on another one with my parents. So we usually, they do trolling and stuff for that to get the mahi and stuff. Yeah. This boat's more of a bottom fishing boat. And you know, we're going to be, we're going to bring, we're going to go out to the reefs and the wrecks. We do something called a high-low rig. There's a weight on the bottom, and you got two hooks on your rod. Uh, put a couple pieces of bait on the hook and drop it down on the wreck and reef and see what bites. So, it's quite yeah. like the catches. Snapper. There's snapper, grouper. There's, like I said, it's uh, by no means is this a lake. We are going in the middle of the ocean. Yeah. So there's like in the lake where you can maybe catch two or three, maybe four at the most different species. There is literally a thousand different things that can come up and bite. So you can, we get everything: tuna, grouper, snapper. Trigger fish, you get literally anything. The other day we had a guy catch an eight-foot bull shark out of nowhere. Yeah. Yep. And then he's chilled at the boat for the rest of the time. Once <laughs> we like, yeah, he was just kept right chilling at the boat. So there's literally, uh, literally an, an infinite amount of opportunities while we're out here. You know, you never know what's gonna bite. We've had about four or five different wrecks and reefs that we hit during the trip. So I'm gonna show you guys all that stuff once we get out. Awesome. All right. You got nothing to worry about, but yeah. have a great time. I never seen snow a day. I'm born and raised right here. Oh, we fished yeah, our Yeah. They said yeah. it was a little bit to remix this morning there. 32. 32. Like, yeah, oh, I think 55 God. degrees yeah, is the coldest I've ever been in. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, and for Florida, that's like. Well, I'm, I'm from the, I'm from the, you can I'm, tell the Floridians. I'm from the Caribbean, so I've never yeah. seen snow. Yeah. I've never seen snow a day in my life. We live in Missouri. Okay. Missouri.
have something out there. Could be a small mackerel. Kingfish. Small kingfish. Eh? Check 
at this fish, guys. It's a porgy. Beautiful yep, do not fish. throw him back. Give we do. We do not get these in the Caribbean. When well, Trinidad. Oh, I got you. I can only get it for you too, man. Oh, I got you. It's almost like I do this every day. <laughs> I think so, almost, man. Almost. You, you seem a bit ex experienced. Your mark on two, two on the head. Porgy's biting nice, guys. Let's get back down. Are you keeping triggers or they Hell go back? Yeah, are you kidding me? You ever eat a trigger fish? <laughs> Never, man. It's the best. You'll like this better than any fish you've ever tasted. <laughs> okay, great. It's the poor man lobster right here. Okay, man. I'm serious. Okay. What's your mark? Two on the head. Yay. You got two, man. I got two. You got two. Oh, no. Twins <laughs> with fins, baby. Twins with fins. Hey, Cap, can we get some pics? Lots of fish down there, guys. <laughs> That's two pogies. What do you call a double? All right, guys, drop back the cool Sam jig, and I caught a yellow tail snapper. <laughs> I think he's too small, man. <laughs> I think he's too small, right? That's why I like to do it. <laughs> you got, what is it? <laughs> it's a yellow tail. Yeah. Yeah. I got the other one with a yellow tail too, and it was a brown. Yeah. Man, your hands are like fish up flyers. Yeah. Don't use those things, right? <laughs> <laughs> no. Not going to happen. But let's drop the cool stem jig. Does not want to stop, man. I'll keep looking all around. Literally, right there's right in there, right there, right there, right there, right there. Right there, right there, right there. Right there. Pretty cool, Sam J. Catch that fish in Florida. Yellow tail snapper. If I got a big one, I'll stop. Hi, right, guys. Just shifted spots. That spot, as soon as we drop, we got a lot of bites, and it kind of slowed down. The line got stuck on the reef as well. Had to retie. Much before this setup. Got to swivel on. Alright, guys, so I want to 
one is called double yellow steel in front of Jackson on the bottom with the bottom of the by itself. I brought you another rod, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, bites. Ooh. I think I got it. When you're in a good spot, fishes bite one time. He might be too small, eh? A little bit short, my friend. No problem. He'll go back. Want to grab him? No, it's okay. You live another day. Catch him next week. Get bigger when I come back. <laughs> Catch him next week. Hopefully, he eats a lot this week. <laughs> Gains a couple inches. Yeah, you, know. you got one on? A lot of fish down there, guys. Drop your lines. We're in a good spot. This bite is going to be instant. Okay, get my line down. Hey, little guy. It's a good bait, man. Same size, yellow deal snapper. Yeah, he's short. I know it's twelve inch. See the movie. Oh, a tile. I think he's a tile, man. Hmm? That's a one. It's a slippery dick, dude. Take my word for it. Don't watch your hands. Let me let me take it. Let me take it. Let me take it. He's gonna cut you, please. Thank you. He looks like a tile. Now the slippery is really colorful. Huh? Nice mutton, hopefully. I got him that time, boy. Nice, boy. Come on up the bottom, baby. I'm going to clear this spine for you. Something big. Hold the rock. Hold the rock. Sure. I got it. You're catching the two lines there, man. Oh, no. The shark just caught him. The shark took him? 
damn bro. Let's see if we get half a mutton. He's oh, he's a shark. He's yeah. A shark. I got it. Sure. Well, that oh shark God. just took him. Went crazy. I think that's good for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well done. She has got a nice porgy. That's an excellent fish. <laughs> excellent. One on the tail, you guys said? I think so. That's a perch. One. Nah, you can throw him back easily. Thank you, sir. Looks like a king. Uh, I was just trying to lead her it up. Yeah. It. It's a king. I'm going to. Mackerel. That's a Big monster zero. zero. That is a monster zero mackerel. That's the biggest one, dude. <laughs> Let's go. Nice. Your hands are gonna be painted. Do you ever get Wahoo inside here? Oh yeah. Okay. 
not this, not right here, but okay. you know. See it, it looks like another sea rope. Oh, kingfish. Kingfish.
right there, guys. It was kind of, oh, top one. What is it? Looks like top one. T top one. Yeah. yeah, they get really big. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, did you guys get a picture with you guys? Yeah. Like we did, uh, come on the boat and we'll get everybody to hold a macro or a king face or something. Yeah. yeah. Wherever I go, I always yes. try to try to do some kind of fishing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get a picture. Yeah, you gotta get the other phone. We just said we might do it again tomorrow. Okay, that's good. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. It's fun. Yeah, 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 for sure. For sure. Looks like me, we got free. Yes. Oh, I know. I new math. I do that here. Spin them. I got it. Yeah. Seems like oh, yeah. 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 Oh sure, I'll save them all up for one big throw, you go ahead. <laughs> They get six feet done for what, oh, 200 okay. pounds. Yeah, they get to be over 300 pounds yeah. in Africa. And also up in the, uh, uh, in the bayous up in, uh, uh, Dennis, Florida, up in the, uh, Mississippi River there, they get to be two, 300 pounds. Serious carp. And it's so great, there's hardly any food guys, so nobody's interested in them. Yeah, and, that's why uh, there's so much of them. Well, now they're protected by law. But even before that, people shy away from killing them. I don't know, it's, it's, it's too valuable. Alright guys, so after the catch, you can come by this restaurant right here, Talks, Danya Beach. Hopefully you're going to cook the fish for us. See how it goes. Show you the end product. Nice little spots. So guys, they cooked the fish for us, they fried it, and they blackened the kingfish. Real fries and axe for all this, but now we're going to eat the fish at this course. Yeah, we're going to do those. We eat as much as we could, guys. She's really full. Still have some more to carry. Catch and cook in Florida.